So we're no strangers to drama on this channel. We've talked about a lot of different things on YouTube that we do and do not like, uh, but there's a lot of parallels, uh, like we said before, between what's going on now on the gaming front versus to what we dealt with with the frauditor front with Chile. Now, we talked about this a little bit last week or earlier this week. I'm losing track of time, but Alyssa Mercante, she is a editor of Kotaku, which is supposed to be a reputable source of gaming journalism, which, in my opinion, gaming journalism has been dead for many years. Uh, whenever they stopped focusing on video games and started focusing more on politics, that's when I tuned out, because uh, usually pretty much every single source of gaming journalism, rather any website, magazine, they usually try to make hit pieces or try to self-insert themselves into articles, just like we had with the Elden Ring review on Kotaku, where Alyssa Mercante basically decided to put the problems she's facing in her life instead of concentrating on the video game and if it's good or not. Uh, we see a lot of that. There's a lot of injections of politics, uh, you might say woke theologies, uh, DEI, which is a part of that. Um, and a lot of people don't care about it. A lot of, um, a lot of people would say that gaming journalism is just not fun anymore. And you see a lot of them collapsing here soon. Kotaku is going to mainly be focusing on writing guides for video games, which a lot of this stuff is going to probably go out the door of Kotaku. A lot of these people that come in to push a narrative or a message are going to be leaving because they can't do that anymore. And you know, it's sad because the whole uh, industry is full of this stuff, even in the actual developments, the studios, the publishers, the console makers. Um, there's a lot of being stuff being shoved with the whole DEI messaging. And you have consulting companies like Hit Detection and the big one right now, Sweet Baby Incorporated, uh, where they consult companies and try to add or help them add diversity or add you know, politics to a game that really doesn't need it. Now, like I said before, diversity is not a bad thing, especially in movies and video games. But we're not really just getting diversity. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong having a, a gay person, a trans person, a black person, an Asian person, a non-binary person in a video game or a movie. Uh, it's when you put them in the movie, then beat the actual consumer in the head with it and try to make them feel bad even if the video game itself was about killing zombies and living in a world that's been destroyed and you're just picking up the pieces i.e the last of us part two now i'm not going to talk about the last of us two because there's a lot to talk about um, personally i loved the gameplay i loved the environments i loved uh some of the moments in the game, but it was a sequel that didn't need to exist because the story of The Last of Us and its expansion left behind was so well told, it really didn't need a sequel. And the sequel we got was basically beating us in the head with some type of political message the whole time and basically saying, hey, white straight males are bad, which that's not really what gamers want. Gamers just want to play video games. Uh, they want good stories. They don't want to be preached to. And that goes for me, too. And you might be saying, well, you're a white guy. You're probably a bigot. No, I'm definitely not. Definitely, not. I, I am white. But I'm definitely not a bigot. Because, you know, like I said, there's nothing inherently wrong with diversity. But when you make a big deal about it and try to push a message and say, hey, white man bad, then I got a problem with it. Because I didn't play the video game just for that. And what's going on right now in the gaming journalism space is there's actually some journalists, they're not journalists, they're just bloggers, Tumblr bloggers, uh, that are attacking other uh, ex-users or YouTubers or anything like that that has a different opinion than them. Uh, one we're talking about in particular is Grums. Grums used to work for Blizzard. Um, he actually no longer works for Blizzard. And, you know, Blizzard had a big thing, um, a lot of controversy the last few years with what happened in those studios. Um, you can look a little bit deeper into that. I'm not going to really touch it, but there's a lot of bad stuff with, uh, you know, probably 
misogyny, I guess they said. Um, there's a lot of it. sexual harassment, which is not good, right? It's none of that's good. None of that's good. Um, but anyways, uh, Grums actually is pretty big on X. And Grums does talk about uh, woke ideologies inserting into the video game industry and how consulting companies are extorting other game makers to include this stuff or they will try to do a series of hit pieces to try to destroy that company or publisher. And a lot of these publishers, they don't want to go through that. Um, you know, the fact is a lot of these people, there's a small minority of people that's doing this, right? But they have the biggest platform to do it. And that's why they get away with it. And if you're a mega corporation, you're like, hey, these people are going to run us in the ground and they're going to say we're phobes or racist. We don't want that. But they end up making these, they partner with these consulting groups and they release games. And you can tell that the message was forced into these games and they sell horribly. Now, like I said before, diversity and inclusion, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, some really good games has come out, like Life is Strange, Gone Home. That's another good example. And I would almost like to say some people's like there's uglification of women. Um, you know, that's debatable. There are some changes to uh, some of the women that are developed into video games. We're used to like seeing really hot, beautiful women, but there's also like the dudes, like they're always jacked or skinny and have perfectly chiseled faces, looks like alpha chads, but nothing's really said about that. But if it's a woman that's sexy, then there's a problem and they're trying to make um, the women not be um, able to look sexy for the male players, which let's face it, video game industry or video games like itself is a male dominated genre of uh, entertainment. Which, you know, that does suck, but I, you know, I see there's a ton of awesome women uh, playing video games and making video games. And, and there's a lot of awesome video game characters who just happen to be women. Uh, there's an awesome amount of characters that's uh, either gay or straight or uh, bi or trans. I mean, there are some. There are some. Some people do push back. I'm not saying there's not people out there that's saying that's bad. Uh, they're saying, you know, horrible things to these people. You know, that exists. That exists in every, every piece of culture, uh, no matter what you choose. Any form of entertainment. Big one, Star Wars, uh, for example. Yeah, Disney Star Wars is a piece of shit. It's terrible. It's awful. They're too busy pushing uh, some type of agenda instead of making a good show. And the quality of the actual shows themselves and the movies are pretty terrible. But anyways... Grums had a, had a uh, tweet a while back, and let me go ahead and go. We're going on Smash JT's channel. I know some people are like, you can't talk about Smash JT. Uh, we have Ryan Easby. Uh, he actually made a tweet to Grums in regards to uh, something he said. Now, this is basically what they've been talking about with Grums. I was talking about there was a post a while back about trans collar bullets in call of duty during pride month um and this is it right here um i seen it and i was like well, that doesn't really send the right message i don't know why that's in there um there's a lot to it you can look into it. i don't really want to cover too much about that um it does exist in the game it may have been user created uh but the way it was represented was pretty 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 bad but anyways what happened was, you know, Grums, he talks about this stuff. And this guy, Ryan Easby, basically said, hey, he should never know a moment of safety or peace in his entire life, I think. Now, that's wrong. That's terrible. A lot of these people were doing, they're actually doing a lot of different things. One thing very common is doxing. Another thing, some of these people are calling these other people's work, their jobs, and try to get them fired or destroy their relationships just because they didn't like what they said, which that's a coward move to do. That's terrible. Why would you fucking do that? Just because you disagree with somebody doesn't mean you try to destroy their lives. Um, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's just words. And you can fight back with words. But immediately going to violence is a really terrible fucking look, you would think. But, you know, there's a lot of people talking about this. Smash JT created me a... Uh, uh, 
video about this. And right here, here it is again, Ryan Easby actually started a campaign to kick Mark Kern, Grums, in the balls. Which still, that's not not, not cool, right? Not, not not cool, not cool. It might be funny, funny to hear. It's like we, we like to say, hey, we'd like to kick Chili or Auditor in the balls if we've seen it had a chance. You know, sometimes to some people, you know, physical threats is to be taken seriously, no matter what they are. If, if he said, hey, I'm going to go to Mark... Mark's house, I'm going to throw a balloon at him full of piss, and I'm going to run away, and I'm going to laugh at that. At him. That's, that's still not okay. You're, you're taking something from the Internet and putting it in real life, which, why? 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 It, you know, it's not hurting you physically, what Grums is saying. You're just insecure about it. You feel like you have something to prove. You don't like what Grum says, but you want people to like what you say. And that's where I say you have to have an approved messaging or approved people to follow on X or social media before, you know, things are good for you. If you go off that route, then you're going to have hell. Your people's going to threaten you, death threats, all this shit. You have to have an approved list of people and you have to have approved talking points to um, get along with these people especially the game journalists that actually push for violence. Uh, again, Alyssa McConte, she got angry because some YouTubers and content creators was making fun of her, how she's being a complete fool, and she decides to go immediately to violence. See this a lot. The other day, I had some dude tell me to kill myself because I said something. I forget what I was talking about. Um, it was something stupid, something really stupid. Uh, I think it was video game related, maybe. Uh, I don't even know. He blocked me. That's usually what happens is, you know, when you call these people out, they immediately block you. Like, you'll have an argument with them, and they'll try to get the last word, and whenever you they put their last tweet in, they'll block you so you can't, but they say they win. Um, but basically, it's a big self-own. Um, but going after somebody and uh, saying they want to attack them physically or trying to ruin their lives by calling their places at work or trying to disrupt their funding that might be helping them you know live have a home uh, have a wife they might be having a sick kid but you decide uh well grums said something poo poo on the internet so i'm going to call his work and i'm going to get him fired and i'm not saying grums have kids i don't know i don't know grums but let's just say he did. Let's say he had a sick kid and Grums is doing his thing. He's working. He's making his money, doing whatever. Some people say he's grifting. I don't think it's grifting. I think pretty much everybody on the Internet's grifting one way or the other because we're all trying to do the same thing. And that's to get attention and money. That's all grifting, by the way. That's all grifting. No matter how you look at it, it's grifting. Grifting is basically saying, hey, I'm going to make some, make money off something. Uh, and it could be just something being me. Like, I'm going to push a narrative and make money from it. That is grifting. Uh, no matter what side you're on, you might be like, well, the snow is white. And some other motherfucker would be like, no, no, no the snow is yellow. And they both try to make money off their opinions. That's still grifting doesn't really matter what you say. doesn't matter if you think you're right or if you think he's wrong. Both sides is grifting. We're all trying to do the same thing. We're trying to get attention. We're trying to make our channels grow. We're trying to get clicks. We're trying to be popular. We want to be seen. And some people, some people, they don't actually believe in what they say, and which that makes the grift even worse. That's like, hey, I'm going to say some bullshit that I really don't believe in. Uh, but I'm going to put it on there because it's going to make me look good. And a lot of people on X or Twitter or Tumblr or TikTok, they're going to like what I say. And they're going to give me clicks. And that's going to give me money and popularity. Just like M Melissa. That's what she's doing. She's doing the same shit that Chili did. And this guy here doing the same thing. And he's an editor too, I believe, right? Uh, let's let's take a look. Let's take a look at Smash JT's. Uh, machine where where is he he is a journalist he is a member i believe he is from kotaku uh smash jt created a list that's called kotaku detected and it's got a list of employees uh these are the people that basically 
um, have some kind of political message they want to push. And Kotaku was very, very, very active in doing these things. Uh, here's Melissa here. She's a former OnlyFans star or whatever. I don't know if she still does OnlyFans, but she's not really a gamer. She hates video games, so she hates gamers. But where is that guy? Where's the guy that was... What's his name? Let's find him. Let's find him. Ryan Easby. Uh, let's see. Hey, it's Jason. I kind of like Jason. Uh, some people don't. Some things I don't like what Jason says, but I still kind of... Like Jason, um, nobody likes nobody. Nobody likes Anita Sarkeesian. Wait, she fucking works for Kotaku? Is she really? This is the girl who runs Sweet Baby. These people are all pretty much. They're not working for Kotaku. These are friends of Kotaku. Maybe I got that wrong. I say a lot of them probably did uh, work for Kotaku, Kotaku or is associated with them. Jeff Grubbs, nah, he's a giant bomb. Uh, let's see, let's see who we got. Where's the guy? She's pretty. Uh, I don't see the guy. He's in. There he is. There he is. He is a freelance journalist. Uh, this is the guy, Easby. So this is the guy making the threats um, to Grums, which, again, that's not cool, right? We, we don't do that. We don't do that. I'm not going to do that. If I disagree with you, I'm not going to say, hey, you need to get lynched on the streets. That's fucking stupid. I'm not going to call your boss and say, hey, this guy probably is a pedophile, even though there's no actual evidence. But I'm not going to do that to get you fired. That's your fucking place of work. I don't want to destroy your life because of us having a fucking disagreement on the Internet. That's childish. That's not winning anything. That's actually pretty lame and cowardly. Uh, so, yeah. So, I love Smash JT. A lot of people don't. They say him is grifter. I see a lot of people call him a grifter. They're calling him a homophobe. They call him a transphobe and all this stuff. And the only thing Smash JT is doing is calling out uh, what's going on in the gaming industry. And that's basically the push of a political agenda instead of creating games for the fans. And I can stand by that because I love my video games and I don't want to be bogged down and preached to about something that I'm not really worried about, you know, on my own. Like I said, when I play a video game, I want to be immersed into something. I want to be able to turn my brain off and enjoy a good story, some good gameplay. There are video games that are specifically made for those type of stories, and that's not wrong. You could do that. It's perfectly fine. Gone Home, great game. Walking Simulator it has that stuff in there. It's not really bad. It's not being pushed on you. Some people would say, you know, if you don't like it, you're a homophobe. But I personally like Gone Home. I thought it was pretty good. There's a lot of games like that. Life is Strange. That's another good one. Uh, there's a few more. But the big thing is, is like a lot of these... Uh, game journalists are just trying to attack people that just want to talk about video games. They don't want to talk about politics. They don't want to hear that other shit. And that's just where I stand. I want to play video games. I want to enjoy myself. I don't want to see that bullshit where somebody is being threatened with violence. And I did make a comment on it. And I'm pretty sure that got deleted. But basically... What happened with that? I did say something on the lines of, yeah, going for violence is completely the logical thing to do. And that's when I got into a fight with a guy um, that had a Sonic character on him, his profile, and had the uh, wallpaper that said Gaza. And he kept on sending me things like, kill yourself, we're coming after you, and called me a little bitch. But whenever I called him out and called him a closet retard, which... You know, I say the R word a lot. He blocked me because he was a coward. And that's usually the MO for these people. As soon as they have nothing left, as soon as they are exhausted, they can't win, they block you. Then what they do is they go on their actual um, YouTube or X and they'll start talking shit about you where you can't see them. But that's normal. That's a normal thing that happens all over the internet. Video games is, is not the only place this happens at. But guys, I love you very much. I'll see you soon. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Talk to you later.